Early this morning, I received a call from my friend's mom and she saw this little baby squirrel sitting in the grass under its nest. I used to pad this up. So we are gonna put this in here just like this. You see that? That's exactly what we were looking for, a giant thick nest. Guys, are you seeing this? What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a great day so far. So guys, early this morning, I received a call from my friend's mom saying that she was on her morning walk at this park that she always goes to every morning and she saw this little baby squirrel sitting in the grass under its nest. So she did inform me that she saw the mom lurking by, but the mom wasn't rescuing the baby for some reason. So the reason might be is because this baby might be sick. So guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head inside, change out of my pajamas, get everything we need, and head over to rescue this little baby squirrel. So guys, we have the little carry that we're gonna put the squirrel in right here. And I have also two blankets that we're gonna use to pad this up. So we are gonna put this in here just like this, spread it around, and then take this little blanket just so he has some extra padding and just like this. Now guys, look, we have our little carrier ready. It's nice and cushioned, nice and soft for picking up this baby squirrel. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're gonna head to the car. I'm gonna put the location in my mouth to where the squirrel is and we're gonna head over. So guys, we're in the back right corner of the park right now and now she told me that it is past the water fountain. So we have literally so many trees to look through, too many to count. So we're just looking for a giant nest that looks exactly like this. Now we're looking for a filled out nest that's full of leaves and is gonna stand out pretty clear. So if we're looking around here, not seeing anything here. So we're gonna come over this way. All right, guys, you're gonna help me look right now. Okay, not much to work with there. I don't see anything right here, guys. Now we're gonna look through this tree. You can see this tree is not, not really filled out. So I'm not seeing anything, anything out of the ordinary, like a nest. So I don't think there's anything in that tree. This tree literally has no branches. So I doubt a squirrel would make a nest in here. I, I don't see anything either. This tree is pretty empty too. And that one back there, you can see that these branches are super, super thick. So no squirrel's gonna make a nest here. I'm looking up at the leaves just in case, trying to skim through, find it really quickly, guys. Not seeing anything. All right, guys, bear with me because I have literally no idea where I'm looking for right now. Okay, I'm not seeing anything. Guys, I don't see any nests, so we're gonna head back here to this tree right here and then make our way back all the way up here. So let's go this way, guys. All right, so this, this tree is already looking pretty naked, but we're gonna check just in case. We're gonna go around this entire tree. You guys are gonna be my eyes too. So help me try and find this nest, guys. I literally don't see anything. What the heck, guys? All right, wait, wait. Do you see that, guys? You see, there's a nest right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm gonna come around. There's a nest right here. Now, she said that it was under a nest, but this this looks pretty, pretty naked right there. That kind of looks like a bird nest. I don't know if you guys can see it. Birds make thinner nests than squirrels. So just in case, we're gonna look around this area. She said it was right under the nest. No, I don't see anything. I literally don't see anything. I don't think that's a nest because she said she saw the mom up there. But yeah, there's no way guys. I took a second look. You can't really see it on camera, but that that's a very, very thin nest. So guys, so I can really focus in, I have my cameraman holding the camera so I can check to see if I can see this baby anywhere. So guys, come along with. So we are looking at this tree right here. This is the last like three trees we have left. But guys, if you're looking here with me, there's no nest here. Like that was the first nest I saw. No nest here. So let's go to this one right here. Okay, guys. <gasps> Wait, guys, look. Do you see that? That's exactly what we were looking for. A giant thick nest. Now, guys, this might be our squirrel nest. So guys, let's just let's look around now. Now, wait, wait, careful where you walk because you might step on it. So we want to be very careful because this thing was very tiny with the picture she sent me. <gasps> guys, are you seeing this? Are you seeing this, guys? Oh my gosh, this baby is freezing to the touch. Look how tiny this little guy doesn't even have any hairs. This little guy must have been born a couple days ago. I mean, it's directly under the nest. And 
I, I'm just shocked how tiny this little guy is. I've never seen one this tiny. I mean, look how underdeveloped he is. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, guys. He has a little cut. Do you see that, guys? <gasps> he has a little cut on his belly. He definitely got injured from that fall. And if you look right here, his legs are pretty cut up too. Oh my goodness, guys. This, this is not good. No look, look, look. If you look at his nose right there, I bet it's not going to pick up on camera because his nose is very tiny, but there's little liquid coming out of his nose. Now that could be because this little squirrel is sick. Now guys, what mom squirrels will do is if they sense that their baby is sick, they will literally kick their baby out of the nest. Now I, I, I personally think that's exactly what the mom did. Oh my goodness, guys. Look how tiny. <gasps> he even has a little milk line. Now if you look right here, guys, do you see that? That little white thing right here? that is milk that means a mom probably has fed him not too long ago but he is freezing so we're gonna get him we're gonna get him to the carrier and, and head home one eternity later so guys we got the little squirrel on a heating pad back at my house you can see this heating pad is on and it is penetrating through and letting this guy get warm because at this age these babies cannot regulate their body temperature but look at him right there guys he's curled up in a little ball now i'm gonna take him out because I wanna show you all the difference between a rat and a squirrel. Now, if you look right here, if I put this baby in my hands right here, taking consideration that this guy is a newborn, you can see that he is a lot bigger. He takes up half of my hand right there. So you can see that he is a lot bigger than a rat. Now, a newborn rat will be about half of his size. So if I get him to stretch out right here, a little baby rat will probably be about that big as a newborn so you can see the difference you can also see the difference in the tail right here that his tail is a lot longer than a rat and he just overall looks different if you notice right here i don't know if you can see but if you look closely he has a little black fuzz on his nose right there now you can see that if you see his mouth is open now that is not normal guys he is not breathing good he has some liquid in his nose he has definitely something wrong with him now guys since here in south florida this is a protected wildlife animal it is actually illegal for me to rehab this and keep this little guy in my hands so i'm going to put him back right here and we're going to call our local wildlife rehabber to ensure that this baby stays alive a few moments later so guys, I just got off the phone with the rehabber and he has given us the okay to head over to give him this little baby's girl. So we're going to pack this little guy up right here, head to the car, and take him to the rehabber. Guys, so I was about to leave to go to the rehabber and look at this baby's poor nose. So if I put him in the light, you can see that a very, very weird looking liquid is coming out of his nose. So I'm going to put him right here and we're going to take this and we're going to wipe his nose just like this. I got you, buddy. I got you. Okay, we're gonna wipe your nose really lightly, okay, buddy? All right, we got you, buddy. Okay, there we go, guys. His nose is wiped, the liquid is gone, so we're gonna put him in here and rush to the rehabber. All right, guys, so we have everything ready to head to the rehabber. I have a little squirrel in here, and that is going to end today's video, guys. If you all enjoyed today's video, give this video a big thumbs up. And guys, I want you to stop what you're doing right now and comment down below a little prayer for this baby that he makes it and he grows up to be happy and healthy. Now, guys, if you want to see more crazy rescue animal videos, well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel in the link down below.